Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, I had a couple of requests for how to, you know, people were just curious on how I rooted my Mabby Big Tab HD. So I figured I'd make this video. Now I can't, I can't go through the process again because it's already rooted. I can't, I'm not going to unroot my device and go through all that stuff again. Because uh, to be honest, it was kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, it's not really a pain in the butt. It's kind of easy once you know how to do everything. But not only that, I, don't, I just don't want to go through it again. You know what I mean? And, and I'm not getting paid for this or anything. I'm just trying to help some people out. But anyways, the parent mode was always a pain in the ass. I'm sorry for my language, but big time pain. Like, you know, you'd get stuck with that kid mode and then you couldn't get out of it and all that stuff. Now that link still works on that on that tab, which is, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, and then you have Navi, this doesn't work, see, because I, I, uh, I deleted it. I deleted the, the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, fan tech, but there's no, there's no kid mode anymore. So it's not, it's not gonna lock you in the kid mode like it used to. So that's all gone, but you still have the stupid screen there. I mean, I probably could figure out which app it is that's, that's causing this. I didn't want to take the chance of screwing my tablet up, so I just left it there. Um, but the way I did it was I used Kingo root. If you can see here, I have no kid stuff. Everything's been deleted. All the kid stuff is gone. Now, a couple things you go to, I'm going to put the link in the description. You download Kingo root. Kingo root will root this device by itself. Now, when it's done rooting the device, uh, as soon as it's done rooting it, it's going to seem like the device is messed up. And it just like it goes to the the boot screen. It'll get stuck when you turn it. When it's done, uh, when it's done rooting the device, it's gonna try to reboot. At the end, when it's all done, it's gonna try to boot up, and it's gonna get stuck on the Nabby logo screen. Now, don't freak out and think you bricked your device or anything. It's perfectly normal for that to happen. What you want to do is you want to power your device off. You want to hold. I believe. Don't quote me on this. You can Google it though. I believe it's the power up, and the. Uh, power button you hold those you turn the navy tab off and then you hold the volume up button first then the power button when it boots up you keep holding them till till the uh till the uh reset menu pops up the little android guy and whatnot and then it'll ask you if you want to reset back to factory if you want to perform a uh, data something anyways what you want to do is reset back to factory wipe wipe all the data reset back to factory it's going to reset everything it's going to come back root it though and it's going to be running just perfect when it's all done so once you reset it back to factory it takes a good bit you know maybe 20 minutes sometimes 15 20 minutes to do everything these tablets take forever to to get back to factory but when it's done it'll be functioning normal and you'll have root access and you'll see this little device super user oops you can delete that and put the other super user permission, but it works fine. I left it on there. What's the difference? You know what I mean? Then you go to your Play Store and you download Titanium Backup. When you download your Titanium Backup, you're going to delete all the garbage that you see that's not on my list. So I'm going to go to Backup and Restore. Now, pay attention. Everything that's on this list... You do not want to erase all the stuff that I have on mine that I left. If I would have deleted it, it wouldn't be there anymore. It'll be gone. But since these are still here, I did not delete them. And you shouldn't either. Unless you want to mess your device up. Like if you delete that, you'll be messing up your Bluetooth. You know, so just compare your tablet. Scroll up your tablet. And anything that you see that's not on my list, you're free to delete. To erase using this app. Or freeze it. You can download a pro version and just freeze them. And then if it causes a problem, unfreeze it. I got the pro version. So I, I froze them. I checked to see if there was any problems. Unfreeze it. But either way, this is going to save you the headaches. Just follow my list. Whatever's not on this list, you can delete. Whatever's on this list, do not delete. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to keep scrolling for you guys. Some of these like EBC, EBMC. That's XBMC. That's just an app that uh, it's for 4.4.2 devices, so you can have Kodi 17.1 without having to root your device and all that other crap. You know what I mean? That's for older devices that can't be upgraded. 
Anyways, continuing. Uh, keep going. So just ignore certain apps you're going to see on here that are clearly just apps that I downloaded that are aftermarket apps. But as you can see, see, going down. That's Happy Chick. That's just another app that I downloaded. So pay it no mind. Continuing. Same with my Mega Box for movies. Pay it no mind unless you want to download the app. Mobe Drill is another one. Just apps I downloaded. So if they're not on your list, don't freak out. Just. The ones that are on your list, that aren't, that are not on this list, you can download. Anything that's on this list, once again, do not delete it. If you see it on this list, it means it should stay on your tablet. I mean, unless you want to feel brave. Movies, newest movies HD, you won't find on your tablet because that's another app that I downloaded. But just continuing. See, like if you were to download, if you were to delete that Integra thing there, that would mess your whole system up. It would you'd break your device probably. So you do not want to delete stuff that's not on this thing here. The printer thing, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't delete that either. I mean, even though I don't ever use printer on the device, I want it to have the options. Continuing, continuing. Square Home Launcher app that I downloaded just so you're aware. Uh, that's the launcher I've been using. But we continue, and that's the end. That's the end of the list. So end of the list. Uh, these three right here, they're not on there. That's why there's, it's hard for you to see it. This camera's not, but there's a line going through them. So no backup yet. NVIDIA cap. I don't know. I don't remember down, deleting those, but they're crossed out, which means they were probably frozen. I might've froze them. Uh, but if you go, if you go over here, if I go back up, I want to show you something. I got to point something out here to you guys. You see my app store, it got a big blue line through it. That's because I have it frozen. This device, I uh, bought it from some guy on Craigslist. And I think he was trying to rip me off because the device, he said, everything works fine. I brought it home and I was all pissed because every time I'd open an app, it would force close right away. All the apps were force closing and I was it was driving me nuts. The problem for that and the solution is the Play Store. When they start to freeze like that, it's your Play Store. And these devices, for some reason, the Play Store gets scrambled up sometimes on the update. And what you want to do is you want to freeze that Play Store or delete the Play Store and reinstall the newest version of the Play Store onto this device and you won't have that problem. Or just don't sign into the Play Store when you reset the tablet back to factory. You know, never sign into the Play Store because it's the updates from the Play Store that causes this device to act funny sometimes. From the old Play Store version or whatever. So anyways, um, that's the list. Follow the list. After you follow that list and you delete all the trash off it, then the way I then I download this Square Home Launcher. And I use that as my home page. You see? I hit this. It's going to ask you. You say, I want Square Home Launcher always. That way it's always on this screen. No matter what. See? It'll stay on that screen. And I got this awesome screen. I put this little box here where it would, and I customized it with several images. So it just keeps, it just flicks from image to image, XBMC, whatever, whatever. And it's, it's a nice launcher. You know, I could put live wallpapers in the background, you know, uh, and it just, it looks interactive. It looks nice, you know, it looks good. And then over here, of course, you have all your apps. But, the, you know, like that, it just looks good. It runs good. And that launcher works perfect on there. You know, I mean, I could have put custom software on this thing or custom firmware or whatever. I'm not trying to do all that. It runs nice the way it does. I got it running real nice. It stays like this. Every time I turn it on, it's on this screen. This, this launcher is very customizable. I can take apps from over here. I can drag them and put them on my home screen, and they're going to always be there. You know what I mean? Or whatever I don't use, I don't have to have it on there. You know, and then it's, 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 uh, you know, and then it's the way it is. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, that's how I did it, guys. I mean, sorry I couldn't do a hands-on, but I hope you guys, you know, you got it. I'm going to try to put the, the link in the description for the, uh, for the, the app. What app was that? Uh, yeah, the app I used to, you know, to jailbreak it, the Kingo root or whatever. Uh, so, all right, guys, good luck. If there's any questions, leave me a, 
you know, question in the description or, or in the in the message box. I'll see if I can answer you right away. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.